So stay tuned. Yeah. So stop talking about it. Okay. No Sorry. more. That's it. Kevin, stop. Shut the fuck up. Kevin's like whispering to himself like he's fucking uh, split over here. All his personalities yeah. are having a conversation. Split. Ooh, I love Split. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Split was my favorite Split. movie the year it came out. Split was a great movie. It came out the same year as Get Out, and everybody was giving all this <clears throat> praise to Get Out. Yeah. Ah, Get Out. Split knocked it out of the park. I feel like Split destroyed Get Out personally. I liked Get Out more. You know, I I liked Split more. I started watching Fuck. Get Out, and I had to stop watching. I forget why. There's no real good reason. Mm. Racist. But... I haven't gotten to a point yet. I'm very early on, so I'm okay. like, everything seems so nice. I, I can't imagine it's going wrong. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, still, I'm still there. Yeah. So but, I don't know. I mean, it seems fine. The brother was kind of a dick. We Lee just met him. So I don't really know. You know what, though? Derek, I'll say this. Uh, Get Out was full of all the cute little goofy uh, hidden things in it. That You know, things that when you watch it a second time are such great punchlines and like it did all the things that I loved in old Twilight Zone. Yeah. So that was why I picked that as my favorite. Yeah. But Split is Split was its own thing where I can't point to another movie that is like that. What I You know value, what I mean? So that's what I will say. Like that I I recognize What I uh, value in a movie more than anything is really tight screenwriting mm -hmm. and Split was a perfect script. Yeah, it had an A plot and a B plot, and, and yeah, and they came and, together, and perfect. they were building on each. And you're thinking, like, why, why do they keep going to this B plot? Like, yeah. what's the point of this? And then at the very end, they come together in a surprising, yeah, but meaningful and in a way, a meaningful way that makes sense. And I walked out of that movie, my mind was fucking blown. I just thought, mm -hmm. like, holy shit, that was a great movie. Yeah. I saw a Glass uh, this week. Oh, you did? I thought that was a steaming pile of garbage. Oh, really? Oh, wow. wow. That was one. Yeah, <laughs> I hated Glass. No shit. I won't go into why I didn't like it unless people want to know, but I was bummed. Did you? No, I heard like everyone said that Bruce Willis was terrible in this movie. Do you agree with that? I don't think that? he's even terrible. I just thought he was I just think that, it in. Yeah. I think that it's the director's responsibility to get a good performance so i don't blame bruce willis i blame mm -hmm. m night Shyamalan. Uh -huh. if m night Shyamalan wrote the script and was there the whole time so whatever bruce willis was doing the director approved it that's true you know he should have mm -hmm. said like wake the fuck up bruce like give me more emotion <laughs> i i think that that's the way uh m night wanted him to play it well maybe but i i think it's also i think a lot of it that is playing into that opinion is or uh why people are pinning it on Bruce is that everyone has heard every story about every director having trouble with him. I think that's why people are, you know what I mean, are, are like directing well, that at him. Here, I sympathize with Bruce Willis because I thought the script to Glass was so bad. I just felt like, well, yeah, Bruce Willis is probably just not enthused uh, to be in a movie, mm -hmm. this movie, because it's... I just thought it was. Really, Do you think like really Bruce Willis knew it was gonna suck? Yeah, yeah. he's been phoning in for twenty years. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah but like maybe he kind of I don't know. Like... He was. In, I thought he was pretty good in Looper. Oh yeah, yeah I liked yeah. Looper. I thought he was great. That doesn't um, sound you know, yeah. like I feel like Bruce Will, like M Night Shyamalan, having him in Sixth Sense, like that kind of like that kind of made his career again. I thought like once he was in Sixth Sense, Bruce Willis was like huge again for a little bit. Yeah. Do you totally. I mean, and I kind of feel like maybe he owes Bruce Willis like. I mean, he owes M. Night, where it's like, you know what? Whatever you do, I'll, and you want me to be in it, I'll be in it for you because, you know, you help me out, I'll help you out. And maybe he saw the script and was like, ah, this sucks, but I did give him my word you and know, I'm going to be in it. M. Night Shyamalan has, he's made some of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah. The Sixth Sense, love I it. fucking love it. Split, I love it. The Visit, a lot of people hate that the movie. Village? The Village? Or The Visit? The Visit. Okay. A lot of people hate oh, that movie. I love oh, The oh, Visit. That was, and that wasn't. That was recent, right? A yeah. couple years ago? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see uh, that. He's also made some of the worst movies I've ever seen. Lady in the Water. I love Lady in the Water. Glass. Uh, um, oh, what was that one? The Happening? Oh, yeah. The, the Happening, Happening, which you could... you could. Uh, yeah, that passes as a fun You could track. pass it as <laughs> yeah. a comedy or yeah, a farce. Yeah, a, that was garbage, but man, I had a great time. I, I made, love Signs, He's too. made stuff in the middle, too. Like, Devil, I thought was... Pretty good, not amazing. Signs I enjoy, I not like amazing. Signs. I love signs. I love signs. That might be my favorite of his, in all honesty. I think like, that's mine too. No, Sixth Sense and then Signs, probably. I just think that he's capable of making movies all over the spectrum. But 
it's been a while since he's had like big name actors in his movies, you know, for a while mm-hmm. he's making kind of independent features with smaller actors. Yeah. And now he's got Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, James McAfee, who was amazing in this yeah. movie. He was, yeah, he still, he completely steals the show. Yeah. Just because I think the movie, um, was not good. It doesn't mean there weren't really good parts to it, but as a whole, it just did I, not do it for me. I, uh, I, I overall liked it. There's a lot that didn't work. I mean, we kind of talked about it before. Yeah. We, uh, there's a lot that didn't work for me. I still, when I was done, I still uh, had an appreciation for it because, again, I no one's making the goofy shit that he is. So I, I still like had a positive effect from it. But I will say it really, it did illustrate that M Night Shyamalan works best with zero expectation of, you know what I mean? It's well, like I feel like when all the eyes are on him, he buckles. What's you know? funny, <laughs> real quick about Signs, what I think is funny is, uh, again, I think that movie's all right because to me. I, it's a it's about story and and kind of like yeah. that's the foundation of the movie and so signs is a movie where these aliens their weakness is water yeah but they invade a planet that's seventy percent water that but never that never, never bothered me. me neither and like that's Every, like humans invading a planet that's like covered in acid but that's but, what but like, we would do I think we would do that in a second and yeah. we do it to resource the, like yeah. the materials out of that planet and we would move on and I think that's that, not what the aliens were doing in signs what were they doing in signs we don't know what they were doing. Yeah, I never got hung up on that. At yeah, all. that didn't like, bother me. It was me. just like, yeah, they're there, yeah. and they there's something. For me, that can it was them. like the aliens are going to kill us all, take whatever they want from the planet, and like, then move on. We live on a planet that where dogs can kill us. We still have fucking dogs. Like, what? It didn't bother me. Dogs are man's best friend. Not not evil dogs. Um, devil dog, the hound of hell. Yeah, but that water dog. thing I've heard ever since the movie came out, and yeah, I just, I but don't that yeah, was when I worked about- at Blockbuster. Every person that came in and returned it said that was like. Dude, why the fuck were they on a planet with water? And I was like, I don't know. They were. I don't, it didn't uh, bother me. But uh, so Glass is kind of his first time in a while where he's had big name actors in his movies. Yeah. And big name actors are expensive. So what I think is Split was this surprise hit. And yeah. suddenly people were like, yeah. oh shit, M. Night is back. Let's give him a couple million. And yeah. I think that that kind of, I don't, I don't know what happened. I didn't make the movie. I don't know what he went through, but yeah. I feel like there was perhaps just a rush to get this out. Like, let's get the script made. Let's get Sam Jackson and Bruce Willis in here. Let's do it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just felt like there was a lot of things in that movie that were unbelievable to me, and none of it had to do with the superpowers. Mm-hmm. I bought all the superpower shit. It was on a day-to-day, just, you know, real, like, uh, real-world stuff that was kind of taking me out of the movie, just sucking me out of it. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, whatever. My review of Glass. It made uh, a lot of money. I'm I never, sure it did. I never thought the Sixth Sense was that great. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. That movie exists for its twist. I really like. I rewatched it again recently too, and I just feel like it. It just kind of like uh, slowly stepped towards its ending. I just. I. I don't really get much out of it. Unbreakable was the movie where I w- where I was like, okay, I fucking oh love my this god, guy. you're here shitting on the Sixth Sense and defending yeah. Glass. I just never cared about, never care. I'm not even defending Glass. I enjoy. It. I had a good time, um, but it's full of. I mean, I bet there's a lot of stuff that if we really got into the spoilers, we'd probably agree. You know what I mean? But I still like give it. You my know, life. but in that Shyamalan has always been. His movies are just an episode of Twilight Zone, mm-hmm. 100% some of the good time. Ones, some bad ones, exactly. Yeah. And good, good and bad, yeah. But there are several of the most classic episodes of Twilight Zone that just go to the ending as well. It's like all about the twist, and that's yeah. what is, sells the whole episode. Yeah. And I don't know. I've always enjoyed that. I'm along for the ride. You know, a big thing for Glass, too, uh, the comic book shit, like, was not... I don't feel like that was... Good. I think that it harped too much on that. Mm -hmm. And for a movie to like deconstruct comic books in 2019 when we have so many comic book movies. Yeah. Comic books have been deconstructed. I was ready to move on from that. Yeah. Yeah. Them bringing that up in Unbreakable, it kind of came at a time where no one was really discussing that, you know, and it was interesting. But I didn't care for that angle. Comic book culture is so big. And I really feel like this, I don't even think like. I feel like he didn't research comics enough because there's so much more <laughs> to comics than what they were going into. Yeah. Um, but uh, I pe- honestly, people are saying we should spoil it and go into it. Maybe we'll do that in the after show. We'll but save I, it. I honestly don't disagree with any of the stuff that you're saying. Like, I really – I think that I'm – you know what, Derek? There's a certain difference between me and you. There's certain with, – with certain movies where there are things that, like, 
I'll recognize as bad, but like I'll almost like be more dear to them for them. You know what I mean? Like, what am, what am I trying to say? It's like when, sure. when we were talking about the fucking Halloween three, the season of the witch, uh-huh. and you were fucking mortified by it. And I and you could you could uh, list off all the in, in case anybody out there doesn't know. There's a third hollow in the Halloween series. The third Halloween movie has nothing to do with Michael Myers, and it's just this batshit movie about kids' Halloween masks. Yeah. And I almost, I, I like you, you were rattling off all these things that were, that were terrible about the movie and, and I didn't disagree, but I, it was, it, that movie's dear to me almost for those reasons. Like I, there's certain things where I just appreciate how like off the path that it is. And so I, I love it in spite of those things. Kind of, You know what I mean? It's like, and I think that, and that's never been your style. Your style is like, no, you should well, have made a fucking good movie. <laughs> I, uh, well, I, here's the thing. I love camp sure, movie. Sure, sure, yeah. I love campy movies. Oh, yeah. But I don't like unintentionally campy movies. Like, mm-hmm. sometimes a movie is just bad. Yeah, yeah. And you could write it off as, oh, it was campy. Yeah. But I feel like, eh, unless they set out to make a campy movie, I, I feel yeah. like I got just snookered into a bad movie. Yeah, and I and I, and I I don't function quite like that. Like, I, there are movies that miss the fucking mark so much that I love them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And that, and and Halloween three is an example of that. Why was that fucking well, made? Rocco, oh my I remember god! When I first met you, you introduced me to Devil Dog: The Hound yeah. of Hell. Yeah, one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah, legitimately. And that movie, they you fucking fail at every. <laughs> and I think that's avenue. why you like it. Yeah, yeah. They tried so hard and failed e- so hard. Every chance they have to make it good, they they don't take it, and uh, <laughs> and that's why I appreciate it. And that's something I. That's just the difference, but that is been the difference between me and you forever Derek is that there are things and again like I don't think there's much we would probably disagree on with with glass it's just uh it it, it almost made it dearer to me for totally. the, like it's why just, does this exist it, it, I think it comes down to like what you value yeah, exactly. in a movie what your movie values are like I uh, I love sleepaway camp but I feel and that's a horribly campy movie mm-hmm, right? mm-hmm. to the point where it is borderline bad yeah yeah but I feel like it's the movie they set out to make and yeah they, totally and they nailed their target totally they they knew what they were doing yeah. um and then all the other sequels are trash yeah I, how many sleepaway camp sequels are there I don't know I thought I only know of one but I don't know I uh I don't know I think there's more than one I uh I didn't care to find out yeah me neither 